And then we learned about log logarithmic plots and for a um, simple linear differential microphone array. Let's see how their polar plots look like. And before going forward, I want to actually save this and call it, um, let's go to our folder, tutorials, call it lesson eight. And I also want to go in here to tutorials too. That's where we're saving everything. So let me create some lines and say polar plots. So what I want to do in here is to uh, create another figure and again position it at 100, 100. Now I want to do it at 600 and 600, a square plot. And say polar. Now I want to have theta because that's the angle. And if I come back to workspace, I want to use PGDB or PG actually, the ABS of PG. ABS of PG. But now I have to pick a certain frequency and all the angles. So let's say frequency, the 45th frequency, which I'm not sure what it is, and all the angles. And this is a polar plot that is created. And you see the value is going from 0 to 8. If I pick the different frequency, say 75, the 75th frequency, so the value is also increasing. That's because uh, this, is a, this is a gradient and it changes with frequency. So what I want to do actually here is to divide this by omega or omega 75. That should be 75. And it says that there's something missing there. I guess I need one more parentheses. Sure. And let's hope that I didn't miss anything if I do that. So the values are now better in terms of consistency with everything else. But polar, polar itself is uh, one command to do polar plots. Another one is actually called polar plot. And it would give me the same thing. The values are scientific. It doesn't really matter. And the good thing about it is that I can say rlim now because it's uh, radial or polar. So I can say 2 to say 5e minus 3 if I needed to. That's optional and I can do that or I can leave it. So now you see that the limits have changed. This is not something you could do with the uh, polar command. So let's say I want to go from three, from 0 to 3.5. And something else I want to do is to say, make this line width equal to 1.5 as well. And it will just do it. So the line width is 1.5. Now, let's take a look at frequencies. I have multiple frequencies. 200 and there is 2000 somewhere uh, some values that I have so I want to use for my plot so there is 20 200 2000 and 20,000 that I want I'm interested in so let's call a or create a variable called f and say 20 200 2000 and 20 these are the frequencies I want to pick. So after creating the figure, I'm going to start a for loop for cnt is equal to 1 to the length of f. And I can put that somewhere else. But right now, let's just do this. Now I'm going to create a subplot, a 2 by 2 and a CNT. And 
And before doing that, what I need to do is to find the index where frequency is equal to F C and T. So as I'm cycling through that F, I want to find the C and T or the index for that frequency. So instead of having 75 in here, I can just type end and end. And let me just move that in here and do a shift tab and run this code again. Now I have a two by two um, array. So I have four arrays and they're all basically the same, the plots. But you can see at 20,000 hertz, the plot is actually changing. That's because of the distance between the microphones. And I can make it a little bit bigger because 600 by 600 is small. Let's make it 900 by 900. And at each time, what I want to do is to say title is num to str and I have to give the variable first. So frequency, or I can say f, uh, c, and t. And the format is frick is equal to d. I have to percentage sign d hertz. Might be too big for the um, uh, for the plots, but let's see if it will fit actually there. So for each one, it, it printed frequency is equal to something. So 20, 20 100, 200, uh, 2000, and 20,000. And I want to say set GCA font width is, or font size is 12 and set GCA font weight as bold. And if I run this, now the plots look better. And I made four by four polar plots in here. So this is basically a um, demonstration of using or making polar plots and uh, MATLAB is in for loops, you can do subplots as well and create your uh, uh, polar plots.